it'll probably be three or four main guys, but it's a, it's a lot of Israelites. Who you follow? Who you? Guys, uh, you got the ancient Ephraim, uh, and you got, um... Uh, House of it, okay, House of it, that's, um, I forgot the Zabak. Yeah, yeah. Zabak and Chief Ephraim, yes. Okay. And the one in California, uh, Sakari. Sakari? He looked like white, but he's like Haitian, I think. Yeah, he looked white a little bit though, right? Okay, then who, and us, and follow us. Um, okay, all right, look, um, keep doing your research. But what you want to find out is that when we, when you look, when you look at the various Israelite congregations, most of us have different belief systems. You should start, you're going to see that. Your job, you're going to have to be able to find what's best for you. GMS. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they, they teach Israel is going to make it, but they believe that you can deal with the Edomite when you can't do that. Read this. If you notice, the doctrines are not the same. Some brothers teach different stuff. Some brothers got a star on their head. Biblically, the star is not in the Bible. All right. All right. That's the star of um, Amalek, the star of Molech, excuse me. The star of Molech. The star for all of us. And you must try even us, because if we, might, if we come here for never saying, Oh, it's all right to marry that Arab woman. Give me a pop. No, no, no. You're off. You're going off. So you must try all of us. How you try with the Bible? Because we don't. Because many false prophets are going out into the world. Now, that's your job to do. Your job is to now see who's teaching accurate according to the scriptures. Because there's many things in the Bible that, for example, like, it's, I'm not saying names, but if a camp tells you it's a right to, to rape or to have sex with like underage women, you know, no, don't run with that. Because you you got if, if not, if God does not judge you, guess what? The white man's gonna judge you. What do you believe? You believe that uh, one wife or multiple wives? What do you think? Uh, the duty of uh, marriage. You know what I mean? Because if the camps that teach multiple wives, they don't fulfill this law we're about to read. Because even back in the time of Moses, there was a stipulation of having multiple wives. If, if he take him another wife, this is the law, in the time of Moses, not now, in the time of Moses, if you took yourself another wife, feed on, her food, her raiment, so you cannot deny the food, not just your one wife, to all the wives you had, you cannot, die, you cannot deny them their food, read on. You cannot do that. If you can't supply her with a food, baby, and the duty of marriage, she can go back to the father's house. But a lot of these camps don't teach. They just stop at the first part if you take another wife. But not knowing there was a stipulation behind that too. Yes, when Christ returns in the kingdom, there'll be more to one. But now, yes, when Christ returns in the kingdom, there'll be more to one. But yes, when Christ returns in the kingdom, there'll be more to one. But you believe that there's a specific language you must speak or a specific name we must call the, the Lord? What do you think? What do you believe in? Uh, he has his name that that uh, Do we have to say a specific name? Like, can I can I say Christ? Can I say is that wrong for me saying Jesus saying Christ? Is that wrong? I wouldn't say it's wrong, but it's not the correct way. So what's the correct way? Yahushua. What? Well, okay. How you say? Yahushua. Yahushua. What that mean? I'm quite sure. Okay, hear me out. You see how you don't know what it mean? You gotta, before you even say that, you gotta know what stuff mean. Who, what does Yahweh Shai mean? Okay, watch this, what does Jesus mean? Huh? Yahweh Shai means the same thing. It means he is the deliverer. So Yahweh Shai means the same thing. It means he is the deliverer. So Yahweh Shai means the same thing. It means he is I wanna give all the, the praises deliverer. and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to you other elders, Akim, you brethren, you followers of the truth, you few sisters. And let me say shalom to the elect, fellow laborers, and you followers. Okay, I want to go on this video here um, on. Um, these guys of the IUIC once again uh, these sneaky jakes um, going into um, what camp should you follow um, th this wasn't an edification for this Jake it was a, a persuasion and we we must persuade through the doctrine of truth but these jakes these Israelites of IUIC 
uh, they've managed to use slander, okay, to come against us. Slander, deceit, deception. These are devilistic ways, man. Okay? So where do we start on the, what these guys were saying? These guys were saying that we teach to deal with other nations. Well, we don't teach to marry other nations, right? He says we also teach to mess with or to rape <coughs> or mess with underage women. Never heard of an underage woman, right? Because once you become a woman, you are a woman, right? And, and people outside the truth know that in the ancient times, even in these times, when a woman reaches her so-called puberty or, or period of uh, passing a flower, she's actually a woman, but not in this society. Let me say that. And we don't teach to mess with young women. You see the slander? He was, this man was, these young men are just zombies, just set up on the left-hand side to, to push that dogma. We never taught, and this is why you got to be careful what you say about groups. We've never slandered IUIC, right? When we when we spoke of Bishop Kanai, you know, the pockets, you know, collecting all the money and all the bacon, you know, from the, which money they used to call it bacon anyway. That's why we call him the Baconator. And this guy snuck back in the IUIC. I was going to leave it alone. But somehow, from what I see in the newer videos, he's all forgiven. But if that was GMS, nah, man, it doesn't it doesn't roll like that with us. See, we're the biggest threat, but we don't go out and and uh, say anything about anybody as far as slanderous. We just tell the truth like it is, and they hate the truth. But meanwhile, HOI has had numerous occasions, or let me say a few occasions. Where there's older jakes messing with young women, which is not against the law of the Bible anyway. It's against the law of this law, this world, which you should not be doing that. We spoke against that. Right? These guys just have the lust of their heart, man. And I'll get all these comments. You just hate on your brother. You hate on our URC. And meanwhile, these serpents who play the victim are the main ones going out talking trash secretly and then when they we respond on it then all of a sudden we're the haters right we're the haters let's go to John 8 and 44 man ye are of your father the devil <laughs> and the lust of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar, right? And the father of it, okay? The father of it. These guys also said, it went into the marriage thing. They said you only supposed to, if you do take multiple wives, you're supposed to be able to take care of them. That's a no-brainer, as they say. Of course you're supposed to take care of your wives. But they teach against the multiple wife doctrine, but yet... They're the ones saying when Isaiah 4 and 1 and when Yahweh Shah returns, you can have multiple wives in the kingdom. You're going to have multiple wives. But now is not the time to have multiple wives. You know why they're saying that? Because they got the matchmaking leadership going on in this IUIC. And what that does, it looks good for the woman. They're appeasing the queen of heaven. That's what that's all about. Because that's what the woman want to hear. Now, I, I'm not going to share no man. So they set it up under that 501c3. They're not allowed to do that. Now I will say, from what I found out, priests of Bach and the HOI, they don't do the 501c3. I know the ISBK does, right? So what these guys doing are making up their own commandments, their own laws. It's even you're able to have wives or you're not. What they're saying is in this captivity, you're not allowed to have wives, but they are all about keeping the laws. So this is like very confusing. You tell me it's all about the law, the law, the law. Following the law to the best of your ability. Well, we say to the best of our ability because we know the law is not going to fully save you. But the first commandment of loving the Lord with all your heart and might and soul and your strength will. That is 
going through with faith. But these guys are saying, well, you know, right now we don't have to, you can't have really multiple wives. You shouldn't do it. But when the time comes, when the kingdom comes, then you can have multiple wives. They're all sold up in that agenda, man. And I don't buy nothing that these guys say. They're all fake, right? They're all false prophets. They're not true men of the most high. Galatians 1 and 8. Galatians 1 and 8. But though, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which he have preached unto you, we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Meaning if anybody come and say the letters of Apostle Paul it was not of, out of the Lord. The book of Hebrews is not of the God. The God is the Bible is not of God, but his words are in, in the Bible. You don't have to call on the Lord's name. Yahweh never worked miracles. We could go on and on with these doctrines, man. That is ridiculous, okay? Goes on to say, and as we have said before, so, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I know, for do I now persuade men or Yahweh or God? Or do I seek, I seek to please men? Right with a question mark. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Yahweh. That's all these guys are doing. These young men, they don't know. They just came into the truth. It's got a, a, a laid out platform. It looks, um, it looks exciting. They got the designer shirts, the purple and gold. It just feels like they feel a, a part of some form of institution, right? And it just looks good, okay? And that's why these guys do it, right? That's why these guys do it. Anyway, this is uh, this is these guys. This is these guys. These pro these young guys are programmed on the left hand side, you know. And look at all the women. They say you're supposed to love your woman and you treat your woman in love and respect and, and provide her with food and raiment, right? But you know what happens. All those accusations of women. Don't let me go back and dig into the, the records, right? I'm at the tapes and find, you know, because there's plenty of videos out there with what this IUIC brand is doing. It's clearly that they took the bag, man, clearly. And he has managed, the, the Bishop Nathaniel has managed to take the truth of what it originally was and twisted it and molded it into a Christian-based type doctrine, okay? Um, and I'm not going to go into detail and spend a whole hour and a half or three hours, and that's the spirit goes with that way, of going where you flaw that because the scripture says I believe Titus in 3 the third chapter you admonish a, a heretic and reject him right but the reason why we doing these videos and I'm doing this video because there was a brother standing on the outside who you know came across the IUIC you know fellow Israelites teaching the truth but they're going off and, and this is not a video to hate IUIC you know, I don't hate them. You know, I don't dislike them. But their, their doctrine is of devils. It's not of the most high, okay? This this is, um, they're always trying to put a strain on everybody else, but look what they're doing. They're saying about the, you know, Yahweh Shah is the same as uh, Jesus. Come on now. So if somebody stole my identity and they gave it back with my picture on it, well, my, a, a white person's picture on it with a white person's name on it. And I'd be like, that's not me. Then I, they take it back and they give me my picture with the same white person's name on it. We don't have a problem. These guys of IUIC has managed to take the image and throw out the image of white Jesus, put the black Yahweh image on there, but kept the white name. See, that's all part of those 501c3s. And each 501c3, they have a different sect that they follow, but they have to go by a proper guideline. You'll see this IHPK. They would say Yahweh Shah, but they always talk about Christ too. 
You don't see our uh, HOI on a regular talking about the name Christ. They say it to people because they don't understand who Yahweh Shai is. But they always say uh, uh, Masiyak Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Let's go to Joel 2 and 32. I'll just make this quick. You know? These are doctrines of devils. Uh, this is Joel 2 and 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Okay, that's the Lord's name right in the Bible. It's a mystery. Uh, within this article, Happy Birthday, Dear Yeshua. Happy Birthday to you. <clears throat> okay. Many people shared the name Christ, given name commonly Romanized as Yeshua. Was quite common in the first century Galilee. Jesus comes from the transliteration of Yeshua into a Greek and then English. Right? I, I'm going to stop there. I don't, you know, the history of this name, the J didn't even come into the alphabet till later. Uh, but this this name is not even a real name. This is a, um, it's not even a real Hebrew name. It's a Greek name, right? Um, even going to Latin, a lot of those names in the Bible aren't really names of Hebrew or Greek. They're actually just Latin. So these are all transliterations. So these are watered down names, right? But yet these guys, they managed to keep Hebrew names, okay? Somehow, you don't have to call on the name of the Lord. You could call him whatever the heck you want to call him. One guy said jalapeno peppers. One guy said yogurt. You are mocking the, uh, the Heavenly Father. And the Lord said he's going to laugh at your calamity. He's going to mock when your fear cometh. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on this. The hypocrisy and the hatred uh, on these guys um, and what they're teaching. Uh, according to the to the doctrine, they they are wicked. They are wicked doctrines of devils. But that's the I U I C. Okay, let me get one more scripture. Psalms one hundred one and five. Okay, um, let me get the right version. Who privily or privately slandereth his neighbor? Right. Who secretly? That you can use the word secretly. Whoso secretly or pri privately or privily slander slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that has a high lock, a high look, and a proud heart will I not will not I suffer. Right? So that's that's these guys, man. Right? That's these guys. He that verse seven, he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked out of the land, and I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Right? And this is what happens, man. Secretly, in the middle of the video, they throw that out there that we're teaching to uh, rape young women. Right? This is what they're saying. They still have a video up saying that we teach to rape nine-year-olds. No outcry. There is no videos or none of you IUIC hypocrite followers will step up and say this is the most ridiculous thing that I ever heard. That there's no way that these men would be teaching that or even practicing that or they would be arrested and uh, carried away um, to the judge, to the officers and to the judge, the judges of the court. There's no way. But somehow this gets to fly. And you people who follow in this and you coming up to learn and listen, always use your thought. You process, you know, process the thought. Hold on, man. You saying that these guys are teaching to rape young women? Come on, man. Use some common sense. Of all people, us as Israelites, this is the hatred that you ones have for us, man, as Israelites. That's the hatred that you have. That you would secretly slander us on, on video saying that we rape nine year olds you're the sick ones you ought to be uh, judged and the Lord will judge you for that you don't get away but remember John and to the brothers and sisters who follow us John 15 and 18 said yeah, if the world hated me if the world hate you know that it hated me 
Right? So we're coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh These guys ain't. And that's why we're slandered and hated. And their videos are uh, uh, still left up. For some reason. For all the policies that they speak against. For some reason, their videos stay up. That's all I have on that. Shalom.